Hey, what's up guys? Diplex here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and Red Rising. Super excited to be back here with another video. I uploaded a video this Sunday, I do believe. It could have been, no, it was definitely this Sunday. Not yesterday, Monday, today's Tuesday. Just trying to get my days right. You know, my life's been slightly hectic recently. Um, and it has definitely affected my YouTube uploads, like my schedule in general. I try and do a video daily or at least one video every other day. It depends on the content that I'm trying to make and it depends on how long it takes to make it. But yes, uh, in regards to me not really knowing when I did upload that last video is, well, because, well, it's been pretty hectic recently. But I think things are pretty much starting to settle out and they're starting to straighten out and I have a pretty clear idea of what I want to do uh, this coming autumn. 2017 has been not my worst year on YouTube, but one of the worst years on YouTube. I, I think it will be the worst year on YouTube, despite having made or some pretty good videos and some pretty good achievements. Uh, and I'll explain later, uh, or and I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate at a later point. Today, we're going to enjoy this video, which is a map that I've made myself. It's going to be a indoor scenario. It's going to focus on indoor combat. And it, it's it's nice, isn't it? What I, I showed a Snapchat video a couple of weeks ago, probably just about a week or two weeks ago, of this map. And I said I wanted to make a series of it. But this is going to be a standalone video. This is not part of any series. This is just a badass scenario that I've been working on today. And I'm super excited to show you this, guys. Um, before we do get into the scenario itself, I wanted to clarify the reason why I deleted the video I uploaded this Sunday. Um, part of it was it, it just being a bad video. In general, I was tired and I had the idea that I just wanted to get something out there and it was just not a great video. I think the battle also, uh, that was shown in the video could have been a little more entertaining. There was a lot of like blank spots where a lot of things didn't happen, but that aside, I got, a, I was tired, I was I was slow, I was probably ha hung over as well, which I sure as hell was, and, um, which is stupid, by the way, like, it, it, you don't get shit done when, when you, when you go out the night before, so I gotta get a little better with that, but point is, um, and I, I, I said some weird things, and I, I called uh, Native Americans savages, which was apparently offensive and all, and, and you know, there's a there's a there's a million things I could say uh, in a sentence that would offend a million people, and I'm not very easily offended, and I know a lot of people are. It's 2017. It's hip to be offended, but I was trying to be historical. I was trying to be. Uh, not biased, but I was trying to live into the, the moment. Like, usually when I play a game from a certain perspective or a side, I will call the enemy th whatever the the um, the current player side would call that enemy at the time. Like, it's 1860 or 90 or whatever. And But some of the information was wrong. I just It was just in general a bad video. So that's why I deleted it. But I'll probably remake it. So don't worry. I'll do that. And I do have immense respect for my viewers. And if I feel that I've overstepped, I'm going to take it down. I... I I want to be a good guy. But let's get to the video itself. What we have here is a bank. We're doing a bank robbery today. Uh, not so much a robbery, more of a hit. So I wanted to make a series in the future where a group of militia or like hackers slash internationally funded uh, kind of like, um, how, how, what would you call them? Like um, anarchists in a way? try and like basically overthrow the American government. And this time we're doing kind of a similar thing. I wouldn't, I mean, obviously any government in any country would call this group terrorists because they're, 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 they're targeting government uh, facilities and, 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 and uh, corporate uh, locations and whatnot. But this is going to be more of a, uh, of a hit, a raid. This is not really part of that series that I wanted to make. We have here um, uh, a set of... I guess you could call them robbers, but in this case, they're raiders. They're, they're raiding this bank. This is literally like a bank. And they've arrived here with a stolen U.S. Marine Corps bus. And this is, when we click start, it's going to be the moment they literally just jumped out on this kind of like empty Monday morning street. There's a, there's a tourist bus up here. There's a cop car here, unfortunately for the robbers, I suppose. So they're going to be radioing in pretty quick. Uh, one guy's just having a smoke here by the car and the other one waiting for a burger outside the diner. And this tourist bus stopped here and they're just I guess they're having a food stop they're they're going from I don't know where we are in Virginia or something could we could be anywhere 
the East Coast. Um, so they're heading somewhere. Um, and uh, also, what's going to initiate this raid is the bank needed some help with like some IT IT support. So three people here, these IT technicians in here, are working on in the server room. But they're going to be the ones who initiate the attack and kind of like attack this bank from the inside. There's a lot of people working today, a lot of traders, um, a lot of people in general. We have here like sort of the FX commodities and, uh, you know, the currency trading and whatnot here, trading in capital markets. We've got the, the more public areas here, the waiting rooms, the, the front lobby, the, the where people get their more uh, talk about their mortgages and, and stuff like more mortgages, mortgages. I think it's mortgages. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and other loans and, and stuff like that. And um, and we have here some just some, some supervisors, IT, building manager, you name it. We have here the guard room. So this is like a pretty, so this was meant to be part of like a corporation, like a really, really big global corporation that is literally like running the US government behind the president's back. So they were really uptight about security and they have their own like personal staff here with M4s. And I think this is an uh, SPT8 or a SPAT, SPAT8 or whatever it's called. Pretty cool. Spat eight, I think. And then we have the the bank manager in here in his office. A few people he's talking to. He's got his own like, like little uh, security detail outside here. We've got some more uh, pretty high ranking members here in their own office. And we have the the food court. We have the server room. We have the toilets. Of course, someone's taking a leak. So it's like a this is a standalone video to like represent like to see. Do you guys want to see more indoor scenarios? And I know this intro is super long, but. I wanted to explain that. So what we're going to enjoy today is like an indoor scenario. We've got a bank right here. Th their goal is to just go in, destroy all the servers, kill all the, the employees and shoot up the civilians and really like make a really, really bad name for this company. And this was meant to be part of a bigger series where there's like an ongoing war between this group and this, this corporation um, and the government. But because I haven't worked out any of the background information or any of the, the, the lore or anything, um, I just had to make this standalone video to, to let you guys know that I'm super willing to get into making a new Red Rising series that I think could be pretty, pretty phenomenal. So, without further ado, is it time to start the uh, the battle, so to speak, or whatever you want to call it? Uh, I'm not going to be in charge of anyone in particular. Once the some units arrive, I need to be there to kind of assist. But before that, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So, without further ado... Let's kick off this fight. I'm pretty excited. So it's going to start here in the server room, and then these guys are going to run in. So we'll get a little look at what happens here in the server room first, and then we'll take a look at the front office. It's going to be pretty bloody. Uh, but hey, family friendly for kids. Yes, this is made up scenario fictional. Super cool action. So just enjoy it. And zhiboom. Look at that. They're, they're holding the... Yeah, they're starting the raid in here. They're just shooting up the scientists or the server people. And now they're charging through the front gate. Some of the security guards are oh, trying to make a quick stand. Oh. They're getting gunned down. Holy crap, a lot of people are trying to escape. That's their initial reaction. But this, this uh, raiding group is now splitting into two different directions. Did they kill the policeman outside? No. He's still here. He's got his gun drawn and he's calling in. He's radioing in for backup right now. And the other civilians have definitely escaped the area or started hiding behind cars and buildings. So the front entrance is pretty clear now. Okay, so the security guards in the back room here in the, the locker room have got their guns out. Ooh, he was trying to run for it. Not really knowing where the threat came for came from. Hmm. We got some people here on the outside just securing the outside. The three IT technicians, so to speak, have cleared up this room. And right now they're just engaging some of the, the, the employees inside here. It's a it's a pretty horrific sight, to be honest. They're almost defenseless here. We'll see if uh, police can arrive to assist uh, the situation. The security guards are still holding out in the locker room. They haven't moved out yet because they're unaware of what's going on. But the, the lobby area here has turned into a, to a slight slaughter. Still got one guy on the outside just doing outside security check. It'll be interesting to see how many casualties the attackers have taken at an early stage. So far, I'm, I'm failing to find any real bodies here. Oh, that guy was shot down on the outside. Oh, wait. She's just standing there. She's going to get shot down. 
look at the managing director and everything back there. He's like taking cover behind his desk. He's got a few uh, security guards in his own detail, and he's got two employees who are in a meeting with him, and they're on a, they're unarmed, of course. So we got one guy. Okay. We got police cars coming in here. The police has arrived. So we're going to get these guys out. And we're going to allow the police to to do their own thing. So this is going to be the first response. And I think they might be storming the bank anytime soon now. We got some soldiers engaging on the outside there. And the rest of the team is trying to get closer to the executive office back here. But right now they're just securing the rest of the building. Man down over there. Yeah, a few of the attackers have definitely been knocked out here or shot down in the, the, one of the lobby areas. If we go down here, we can kind of tell that this is so different from down here where the, the players are fighting than up here. Completely different scenario. How's it looking on the outside? Yeah, the police are just holding out. They're just barricading the outside. I think they might try and storm. We'll have to find out. We do have uh, some of the attackers held up on both sides here of the entrance. Is that a civilian with a pistol? I wonder if he's picked it up. We got more of the perps on this side here. Ooh. Cops are gunned down as they try and enter the building. I think they're going to try and uh, wait for some more serious reinforcements. But how's it looking for the attackers now? We have a few here on this side. And they're still just trying to secure the building. Going from side to side. The the guards are still hold, held up in the guard the locker room. They're not moving out. And that might be a smart thing to do. You know, it seems kind of like a logical reaction to the whole situation. To kind of just barricade yourself. Um, but the managing director is still alive. Secretary's alive down here, and the two security guards are set up in, in, in kind of a cross crossfire situation. So that's all good right now. I think a lot of attackers have died early on. Ooh, he spotted him there. Yeah, I think a lot more... Quite a lot more attackers died than expected at this stage. But look at the policemen here on the inside. They're just gunned down completely. There goes that guy. Oh, shotgun to the face. And he shot back quickly. One of the IT technicians, so to speak, tried attacking the the main office back here, the, the managing office. But uh, he was gunned down as well. And now one of the secretaries have picked up his pistol. So that's more armed defenders. So far, they're doing pretty well. A policeman has made it in here as well. He's going to be shot down. Oh. He's reloading. He's being shot at. Oh. Oh, she's going to be shot down. Another employee is going to pick up her pistol. And this guy's going to run back. How's it looking with the attackers on this side? We have two guys in the server room. Right. And we have another one over here. So there's more alive than you think. And there's also one here in the front entrance, but a lot have died. It's been a complete slaughter so far. But SWAT has finally arrived. Na 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 ha ha Right? Ooh, they're gonna make quick work out of one of the, the attackers over there. Oh, there's gonna be an exchange of fire in there. They're gonna kill another attacker. Bank staff is right now starting to kind of neutralize the area. They've picked up some of the attackers' weapons. Uh, but there are still two attackers here in the building. They're, they're at the, all the way at the back here. No, there's three. There's three. They're easily hidden. But the front lobby kind of like entrance has definitely been cleared out. SWAT is right now like going to the manager's office like, Are you, are you okay, sir? Roger, roger, roger. And they're just securing it right now. So there's storm in this building. Oh... Dude, MP5s are spinning out. These three perps is the last bit of this attack. It's been, what a slaughter. But like, this is gonna turn into a pretty hectic end fight here. Holy shit, SWAT is just opening up. 
Pistol's being fired. Swan officer down. Oh, it's going to be like a straight execution. They're going to nail him to the wall. Oh, and he's shot down. And right now they're securing the building. SWAT officers are running around, securing the premises. And the manager survived. He's got two of his security detail still checking the outside here. The guards in the locker room were a bit passive, but I think they were smart to kind of hold their ground and not move out. So let's take a look at casualties. We'll do the the, the aggressors in, in red and the civilians slash employees slash police slash, you know, well, government in general in yellow. And you can tell that there was there was a bit of a slaughter here. A lot of the attackers went down. Um, trying to kind of enter um, the, well, they, I guess they were shot down by security guards in the locker room in general. And there's a lot gunned down here as well. Well, that's just a surprise, if you ask me. We do have a few more up here, but in general, it was just a tragic event for everyone involved. Right now, SWAT officers are just securing the rest of the building. What a bloody cool fight. We see an M4 there. There's a few MP5s. If you guys want to see more indoor scenarios, let me know. I think they're pretty awesome. And if you guys want me to start that series I was talking about, I would definitely love to do that as well. So once again, this video is meant not meant to mean be offensive to civilians or bank personnel or employees. I mean, I've been one myself. So if you think that this is an attack on employees, everyone thinks that anything out there in media is an attack on something. And that's not generally the case. But in this case, I'm offending myself because I have been a bank employee. I am a civilian. I have been employed by the government. I, I have fired a gun, so I, I target pretty much everything that's been associated with this video except for the, 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 the people attacking the bank. I haven't done any of that shit, so that's pretty good. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao!